Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert. AI plugins promise to make life easier, but can a smart limiter do the job? I'm using Smart Limit from Sonable to find out. So here's my track and it sounds like this. And the first thing I need to do in Smart Limit is set the genre. So I'm going to go down here and fit the, get the closest one. And then the next thing I need to do is hit learn. Now once it's learned and set the parameters for limiting, it will get loud. Okay, so in the side pane, I've got my loudness monitoring. And if I open that up, we can see that my track is nine luffs. My target is 14, so all I have to do Let's just turn down the gain to get to my target loudness. Round about there. And then this excellent quality check button, this gives me all of the stats in plain English. So if I turn up this gain just to limit a bit more, you can see the amount of limiting happening at the top but it's listening all of the time. And when I let go, it will give me its verdict. And really useful, down bottom right, we've got the loudness penalty. So on my chosen service, that's gonna turn my track down by four dB. So I could, if I wanted to, just limit a little bit less to get that quality back. and then my loudness penalty will be lower. So you can see that Spotify is going to turn down by 2 dB instead of 4. If I turn up a lot to get lots of limiting, so I'll turn up a ridiculous amount. Smart Limit doesn't sound too crunchy at all. And I can just listen to the difference. So these are just the pure artifacts. that's limiting everything. So although it sounds crunchy in the Delta difference listen mode, it's not too bad at all as limiting goes. But I want to pull that back down so it checks out at my target loudness or thereabouts. Let it listen again. Smart Limit from Sonable makes it easy to guard against peaks and to set the loudness of your track. And I think that it definitely does deliver. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.